How are you? Do you like riddles? Uh, from a complete pack. From a complete pack. We'll read this. It looks like math. I was scared it might be a trolling factor, right? From a complete pack, a small number of cards has been taken out. If you deal among four people, three cards remain. Okay. If you deal among three people, two cards remain. And if you deal among five people, two cards remain. How many cards are there? Ooh, let's lay this out. I'm not sure. Let's check it out. So how will we approach this? So we don't know the number of cards in the deck. Let's call it X. Right. That's the number of cards we have. Uh, from a complete pack of small card, a number of cards has been taken out. From a complete pack, a small number of cards has been taken out. So you take a whole bunch of cards out. If you deal among four people, so are you dealing out the what you took out of pack? So I'm assuming X is the number of cards. The first sentence is just throwing, throwing you off. If you deal among four people, three cards remain. So basically, if you take X divided by three or four <laughs> by three uh mask of raven does it mask of raven so let's check it out let's see if we can do it so i'm gonna approach it this way i don't know if it's the right way i just like laying it out first the most simplest way i can right if you deal among four people three cards remain so if you divide this by four you're gonna get a number with a remainder of three right if you take this and divide it by uh, three cards remain if you deal uh, among three people two cards remain and if you deal among five people two cards remain so three people you get the number r is equal to two and if you divide it by five you get the number r is two the remainder is two so what's the best way of doing this 47 mask of raymond how do we do how did you get it so fast Literary. I like I like I like reading riddles, thinking about it quickly, and then looking at the answer. That's the way I like doing riddles. I don't really do them. I read them. <laughs> right. So how do we do? What's the best way of doing this? Mask of Raven. Direct us. So if we divide it, so basically here, if you say the remainder is three, so this would be three over four. This would be two over three and this would be two over five right whatever the number is he's right 47 well the number is an equation is a multiple of 15 minus 2 notice that first the number in the equation is 15 minus 2 is it Plus two, rather. Notice the first. Og. <laughs> Mask of Raven. <laughs> so, hold on, let me see. Uh, well, the number in question is a multiple of 15 plus two. Is a multiple of 15 plus two. Oh, because of these guys. Right? Because there's two there. Cool. Multiple of 15 plus 2, and then how do you deal with that? So it's a multiple of 4 plus 3. Ah, that's a cool way of approaching it. I don't have a riddle mind. I don't... Uh, it takes a certain mindset to do riddles. So basically what it is here is to get x... Well, here, let's do it this way. Let me erase this. Uh, x, right? If we multiply everything by 5 here, you're going to get x is equal to box, oops, 5 times box plus 2. This is the remainder theorem, by the way, when it comes to polynomials. If you know uh, your division, polynomial long division, it's just, it's just long division. It's, um, what do you call it? Uh, it's just a remainder theorem, right? This one would be x is equal to 3 box plus 2. 
and this one would be x is equal to 4 box plus 3 if I did that correctly I use my modular arithmetic I used modular arithmetic here but the way you're doing is a good intuitive way to think about it also uh, my chat got deleted can someone post a question again yeah I didn't see your question here let me grab it here's the question so uh, prime liter liter prime uh, posted the question from a complete pack of oh thank you for posting it uh, little little try oops that's okay so so far I've gone to here how would we go from here to 47 how would we go from here to 47 we could subtract the equations we have three equations we got two unknowns we should be able to do this right or wait a second these are different these are different this is let's call this y z w right so right now we got four unknowns and three equations we need one more equation to be able to solve this as far as i see it right because we don't know what the numbers are here right these boxes are different let's call these uh, y z w that's what we're calling it okay or i'm calling it y z w y z w oops then this is i wrote this backwards so this would be w z y just to confuse you guys i flipped it <laughs> so is there any other relationship we have that we can figure out because we've got four unknowns three equations in mathematics if you have four unknowns you need four equations to solve it since five blank plus two and three blank is two plus two or both plus two you can combine them in one equation 15 but the blanks are different z and y would be different mask of raven wouldn't it it would have to be no then the number of equations is reduced but the z and the w are different numbers wait a second five blank plus two and three blank plus two are both plus two you can combine them in one equation 15 blank plus 2 so you're multiplying them two times two cards remain combine those two guys so are you multiplying them i don't follow the logic there so three times five is 15 sure like if we multiply these then the blank becomes wz right w times z but then that becomes four so i don't understand why three blank plus two and plus zero, both plus two you can combine them in one equation 15 blank i don't see it to tell you the truth i don't see it I mean the only way you would get 15 if you multiply those guys and if you multiply this you got an x squared and that one you got but you can't just multiply these guys it doesn't make sense unless you foil it out well, you don't want to foil it out no i don't see it well riddle me this riddle me that chicho doesn't know the answer what would uh, what did mask of raven do to figure it out you did modular uh i use modular arithmetic i don't know what modular arithmetic is modular arithmetic nice question it's got to be a way around this D 
these guys. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. If someone does know where to go from here, our Discord page would be awesome to post it up, right? To see where it takes us. I don't get it either. I don't get it either, Dante. I don't know how you would combine them to get 15. Um, I mean, we could subtract them, get rid of the, Z, the axis and those guys. Oh, the relationship we could have would be this. If you just subtract equation one and two, let's see what where that takes us. X is equal to five W plus two and x is equal to 3z plus 2 subtract this from this right so equation 1 and equation 2 subtract them so this kills this this becomes 0 this becomes 5w minus oops 3z minus 3z and the 2 kills the 2 so we have this relationship how is that going to help us? I don't know if it is. Right? So 5w is equal to 3z. Did you try that too, Dante? <laughs> Modular arithmetic is using remainder, but I don't know how that's relevant. Oh, is that what it is? So that's exactly what we're doing. So over here, here, let me race, give us some more room here. So over here, we would just have uh, 3z is equal to 5w, right? But that's just combining these guys. We need an original equation. Hi, been lurking, but imagine you take those two remainder cards away and you get a number of cards divisible by both three. Oh! So therefore 15 also, not sure if that's helpful. That is helpful, Mr. Because what it is, oh, that's, of course, we can't just think of it as a standalone thing, right? Are you laughing at Is that, is that what it is? If n, of course, of course. Didn't even think about it, right? Crazy. If in both scenarios, two cards remain, the amount we look for must be a multiple of three and it must be a multiple of five so it must be a multiple of 15 as well that's right crazy eh? i can't believe we didn't think about it so if you zap this out then they must be this so if it's a multiple of 15 so there's got to be two remainders so x is equal to 15 blank plus two So how did you get 47 then? So the blank is 3, 40, 45 plus 2. But how do we how do we narrow it down to 47? Right? How do we narrow it down to 47? How do we narrow it down to 47? It's a small amount of cars that I took out. Oh, from a 52 deck. Is that what it is? All good with you, bro. Hey, Nicholas, how are you doing? Justin for work. Yeah, all good, brother. Thank you very much. By the way, Nicholas, check this out. My snack, one of my snacks for today, cuckoo and avocados. Cuckoo and avocados, All right? Super delicious. I made the cuckoo like, two days ago so this is the third day i'm just eating as snacks very good this combination is fantastic as well so there's only three options that's right we narrow it down it's by elimination it's by elimination because if it's got to be divisible by three multiple of 15 the only choices is there's either 15 cards 30 cards or 45 cards right so 
if it was 15 cards and there's two cards remaining, so that's 17, if you divide 17 by four, you get a one remainder. So it's not a three remainder. If it's 30, you add two, that's 32. 32 divided by four is straight up eight, so there is no remainder. If it's 45 plus two is 47, 40, oops, 47 divided by four is da, 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 11 and three over four. That's the three we want, so it's gotta be 47. So it's by elimination. That's the riddle part, right? You have to eliminate. Great question. And great collaboration trying to solve it. Awesome. Now that's a snack. Now that's a snack, Nicholas. You should try lemon juice and pepper on your avocado. Oh yeah, lemon juice, yeah. Right now I'm staying away from peppers, so no peppers, but lemon juice for sure. And if lemon juice would go, uh, what do you call it? amazing with the cuckoos as well. Chad is amazing. Little tribe for sure. We got a nice group of people here, man. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you to everyone in the chat. It's fantastic. Don't make hungry don't make hungry guys. <laughs> Look, this is a great question. That was a great question. Why are we wearing a wearing a toque? Uh, I'm staying warm. Also, no bell peppers. Bell peppers. Uh, the red ones are okay. I like I don't mind eating the red ones and the yellow ones are okay. The green ones hard in the tummy. All right. This was a great question. This was a great question. And I like doing the remainder theorem laying on it like this because you get a visual sort of it's just ratios fra fractions glad i could help you entertain us for sure and you guys too and educate we're learning right fantastic there's nothing better in life really well there are a few things that are really awesome but one of the great things in life is learning while being entertained like and munching on cuckoo and avocado <laughs> Right. A great question. Great question. I liked it. I couldn't do the jump uh, straight to this. It didn't make sense to me. But it had to be a multiple of 15 with the 2. Yeah, it made sense. The variables threw me off. We had three equations. And then you, the, the way you solve it without the fourth equation, there's only three choices. And you reference. I'm going to show this to my students tomorrow awesome mr Mo uh, mr moss yeah for sure great question great question and you don't need high level mathematics really you need to know long division uh remainder theorem would be good that's sort of grade 11 my part of the world um, so you would have to explain the remainder theorem to people to say that you can lay out the problem like this right fantastic question nice very good 